Hey guys, I'm Mel, and today I'm going to do the unpopular book tag. So I was tagged to do this by the amazing Katie Loves to Read, who I adore. So if you haven't, go check her out. And the original tag was created by the book Archer, and I'm going to leave both of their links on the description. I was really looking forward to do this tag, because if there is something that I love more than talking about books that I love, um, is talking about books that I hate. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I have so many books that a lot of people like, and very popular books that I hate. The Maze Runner series, the Selection series, but I'm going to go with the book that is very popular at the moment, and that is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. When I first read this book, I had a lot of problems with it, but as I thought about it, I became more and more aware of all the problems that this book had. There is something really wrong when authors make characters with mental illnesses so one-dimensional that the only thing interesting about them is their mental illness and the only thing that defines them. Also FYI, mental illnesses are not funny and quirky and cute and not a character trait for you know, the main character to be lovable. This is a book that I really really didn't like. I, I get that the, it's a very emotional book and that makes you cry. I cried when I read it, but I wasn't attached with the characters at all. For this one, I'm going to go with the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The covers are horrible and, and the plot is not very, very new, but when I read it, I fell completely in love with it. I really, really like the series and I see a lot of people hating on it. I don't agree with that. I get that it's not the most ama amazingly written book. I get that the characters sometimes are annoying, but I like it anyways. And as you know, if you watch my videos, I love Jennifer L. Armentrout's writing. It's simple and funny and sarcastic. Plus, the main character in this book is a book blogger, so... I think I've talked about this in my Harry Potter tag, but yeah, I hate Harry and Ginny together. During the passing of the years, I understood why Ron and Hermione were together. I even liked them together, but Harry and Ginny, it's just out of nowhere and I don't know why Harry would like her. My favorite couple in Harry, Harry Potter is Harry and Hermione, but well, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, a genre that I don't look for is a mystery or thriller. I will read it to somebody recommends it to me, but I don't actively look for it. Yeah, this is a very unpopular opinion, I think, and that is Prince Guy from The Lura Chronicles. He is not my favorite character. I don't really have any attachments to him. I don't really see the appeal. He is my least favorite character of The Lura Chronicles. Also, I have a thing with uh, Jenny Han's characters, especially Margot from Two All the Boys I Loved Before. I think she doesn't act her age. Lara Jean, to be honest, she doesn't act her age. I think Margot should be m much more mature than she is. She still acts like she's 12, and I think that she's 18 or 19. And also Belly from The Summer I Turned Pretty, but I think a lot of people hate her, so it's not in a popular opinion. Um, Ellen Hopkins. I read Rumble a few years ago. I really, really, really didn't like it. I tried reading another things by her, like Crank. I just can't get into her writing. Uh, she has a very unique prose. She has very unique plots, which a lot of people like, but I really, really don't. I made an entire video of the tropes that I hate, which you can watch here. If you want to know what my least favorite tropes are, you should go check that video out, because I get very annoyed with tropes, but I'm going to go for this question with girls that need a man to save them. I don't think it's realistic because girls, we can manage on our own. We are not always strong and men are not always right. And I think literature should stop perpetuating that stereotype. For this one, I'm going to go with um, Nicholas Park movies. It's not that I love the movies, but I had a moment in my life when I read a lot of books by Nicholas Spark. It's not all of them, but a lot of them, which is embarrassing because right now I hate Nicholas Spark. But anytime be be before booktube. I didn't have a lot of things to read, so I read a lot of books by him. And to be honest, the Notebook movie is much better. The Walk to Remember movie is much, much better. I cannot watch any Nicholas Sparks-based movies 
uh, anymore because I got very tired of them. All of them are the same. And also, I think I like the Stardust movie um, based on the book by Neil Gaiman more than I liked. I mean, the books, the book is amazing, don't get me wrong. The book is so, so good. For, in my opinion, the movie was a little bit better. Like, I liked it a little bit more than the book. I seem to have forgotten to tag people. So I tagged Morgan from Little War Weaver, Clarice from Clarice Reads, Chantal from Book Hunt, and Christy from Christy the Book Slayer. I think you haven't done this one yet, so if you have, ignore me. So yeah, that was everything for today. I hope you have a great day. Hope you liked it. If you did, subscribe and I will see you when I see you. Bye!